Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. For today, we will continue our lesson on Mathematics Year 5 DLP. Our topic today is Explore Numbers. Before we go through to the lesson, first we look at the example given. Mukris, what is the place value of digit? If you look at number given, the number is 781,436. The place value of digit 7 is 100,000. Place value is the value of the position of a digit in a number. Now, I will show you one by one what is the place value of the digit C. Place value of digit C is 1. Place value of digit 3 is 10. Place value of digit 4 is 100. Place value for digit 1 is 1000. Place value for digit 8 is 10,000. And the place value of digit 7 is 100,000. So, it is better for you to memorize this. Ones, tens, Hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and hundred thousand. If you can memorize this, it will be easier for you to determine the place value of each digit, each digit number. After you know the place value, now it is easier for you to partition based on place value. Normally, we partition the number from the left side, that is digit 7. It doesn't matter if you want to do it from the right side or any side of the number. But to make it more in good condition, so we start with left side of the number. Okay, so we start from digit 7. 7 is 7. 100,000 and then you put plus sign there and then follow by 8 10,000 plus 1,000 Plus four hundreds plus three tens plus six ones. Another example we did we try to determine the place value of the number five hundred thirty one thousand. And 89. We start from digit 9. Digit 9 is 1s. Digit 8 is 10s. Digit 0 is 100s. Digit 1 is 1000s. Digit 3 is 10,000. While digit 5 is 100,000. And then from the earlier place value, we can partition based on place value. We start from digit 5. 500,000 
plus three ten thousands plus one thousands plus zero hundreds plus eight tenths plus nine ones if you can see here digit zero it is depend on you to put or not to put in your partition both will get correct answer okay now let's move to digit value i will show you how to determine the digit value of the number we will use the same example as before that is 781,436. We're starting to determine the digit value from digit 6. The digit value of digit 6 is 6. The digit value of digit 3 is 30. The digit value of digit 4 is 400. The digit value of digit 1 is 1000. The digit value of digit 8 is 80,000. And the digit value of digit 7 is 700,000. Same as before, from the digit value, we can partition based on digit value. And when we do partition, we start it from the left side of the number, which is 7. 700,000 plus 80,000 plus 1,000 plus 400 plus 30 plus 6. So that's how we partition the number based on digit value. Now let's try to determine the digit value for another number. 531,089. We start from digit 9 is 9. The digit value of 8 is 80. The digit value of 0 is 0, 0, 0. That means 0. The digit value for 1 is 1000. The digit value for 3 is 30,000. And the digit value of 5 is 500,000. From the digit value, we can partition based on digit value. We start from digit 5. 500,000 plus 30,000 plus 1,000 plus four zero it is an option whether if you want to include it in your partition or you not to include it in your partition both will get the correct answer in this case i will put it in my partition plus zero plus eighty plus nine If you don't want to include the zero in your partition, the result will be like this. 500,000 plus 30,000 plus 1,000 plus, you skip the zero, plus 80 plus 9.
both will get the correct answer. I hope this explanation will help you in this topic. See you soon. Bye-bye.